there is no bad. There's only the absence of good. Nothing radiates darkness. There are only things that radiate light. We're just learning. If we, so we're, we're learning how to reconnect with the fact that there is actually only good. There's, there's a saying, you know, like obviously in, in Judaism that there are two inclinations, good inclination, bad inclination. The Yitzhah Tov Yitzhah That, you know, obviously it's also in Christianity that there's, there's, there's some kind of God and there's some kind of devil, some kind of Satan. It's like we've taken to another level. That now it's like there's actually a force in the world of evil. <laughs> that, that there's this saying in, in I think it was a, a Native American uh, story of a, of a grandfather's telling his grandson that there are are two wolves within every one of us, and they are always fighting. Mm -hmm. And the, there's one wolf that represents greed and hatred and anger and so forth. And there's another wolf that represents love and compassion and kindness and so forth. And, and the grandson asks, you know, because the grandfather is saying, these two wolves are fighting within you every day. And the grandson says, which one wins? And the grandfather says, the one you feed. Mm. Now, yeah, now, so now let's take it to the next level. There's only one wolf. When you feed it, it's nice. When you don't feed it, it starts trying to fight for its survival. Right. So there is only one inclination. There is only good. There is only light. Things only radiate light. So there is light in the absence of light. There is one wolf. You can either be friends with it or it can fight you to survive. Mm -hmm. Because if you ignore it, it doesn't have food. It doesn't have energy. It doesn't have attention. It doesn't have love. Like a kid who's not getting your attention and turns into a problem child because it's the only way to get your attention because negative attention is better than no attention at all. <laughs> because we want attention. Why do we all want attention in our relationships and we want to be paid attention, money, etc., respect, love. We want attention in our communities. We want to have some kind of role, some kind of acknowledgement. We want attention. That's all we ever want. It's the only thing that exists in the world is that we want attention. We all want it. So much from outside of us, especially when we're not getting it from ourselves. And then we're looking for it from others as though they can give us the attention we want. Because again, we're looking outside of us for God. Looking outside of us for the source of existence, for the source of fulfillment. And ultimately, the idea is that we, we want attention and that if we get attention from ourselves, then we feel that we have attention because we're getting attention from the source that we actually want it from, from the ultimate source that we want it from. And so there is either giving ourselves attention or ignoring ourselves. When we give ourselves attention, we don't need to fight for our own survival. Our thoughts, feelings, instincts feel like they can be heard. They can just whisper. We hear. Or we're, we're ignoring them, we're ignoring them, we're ignoring them, and they need to be screaming at the top of their lungs, throwing things at us in life, arguing with us through other people, giving us crazy circumstances, health problems, all sorts of things, just to try to get our attention. And so that's the wolf that hasn't been fed. So there's either you feed it or you don't feed it. There's no good and bad. There's only good and you not acknowledging that there is good, which leads to bad to try to get your attention so that you can go back toward acknowledging what's good.